Number 10 then from the 2016 Advanced Tire Maths. Here we go, a little proofs question for four marks. Probably not two marks, it's probably one mark for A and three marks for B. Because it says, if it's true, give a proof. If it's false, give a counted example. Well, the first part, P is prime, is a statement. P is prime means 2P plus 1 is also prime. Well, it's easy to disprove things if you just think of any number that doesn't work. Well, if P is 7, it's certainly a prime number. But 2P plus 1 would equal 2 times 7 plus 1, which is 15, and 15 is not prime. The thing I don't like about these questions is quite often you've, the amount of writing you have to do. So what you're going to say for this part is A is false by a counter example. You have to provide one. By counter example, P equals 7. Of course, you can come up with your own one. Now that's likely just to be the one mark. And so statement B, which is probably the one that is true and you have to prove it because you're not going to have both of them false by a counterexample. If a positive integer n has remainder 1 when divided by 3, then n cubed also has remainder 1 when divided by 3. That's a big long thing to write out, isn't it? There is, in fact, a mathematical way to write this big long sentence, but you don't know about the modular arithmetic, so we'll just have to go with this. Right, well, it says, if n has remainder 1 when divided by 3, that must mean that n is equal to some multiple of 3, but plus 1 number. So I'll put where k is also in that set. In which case, it said, show that, or prove that, n cubed is also has also got a remainder of 1. I don't know why I put that. So n cubed would be, 3k plus 1 cubed. Now I could just multiply that out with a binomial. You know the coefficients 1, 3, 3, 1. So that would mean, that's the binomial parts, it would be 3k cubed times 1 to the power 0 plus 3 lots of 3k squared times 1 to the power 1 if you like plus 3 times 3k I don't mean squared in there, I meant squared there, to the power 1 times 1 squared, plus finally just 1 cubed. And you can see straight away, they are full of 3s, and that's not. So you could take out a common factor of 3 from this part. So taking out a common factor from this would be, if I take one of them out, I'll be left with 3 squared, which is 9k cubed. If I take that 3 out, I've again got 3 squared, which is 9, but k squared this time. And if I take that 3 out, I've got 3k. Now, it doesn't matter that I could take more 3s out. I only want to show it's a multiple of 3. Plus 1. So that means it's 3 times something. It's 3 times some number plus 1, where that number is also, because they were integers, another positive integer. Now, it's just a case of saying, how do you know? It's the same statement as to begin with. How does that show that it would have a remainder of 1? Just put a statement down, which is 1 more than a multiple of 3, which means has a remainder of 1 on division by 3. Conclusion, B is true.